Okay, welcome to another video with me, Rai. In this video, we will be covering how to paint your Nerf blaster properly. So, what I like to do is, first, you have to take your gun apart and strip it down until you just have the shell and the pieces that you want to paint. Now, the pieces that I usually paint are the main body, which is this. For In this case, I'm using a darn tag blaster. It has this back piece right here that fits in right back there. I'm going to be painting that. I'm going to be painting the pullback mechanism and that's pretty much it. Now you can paint the trigger but I usually don't like to because when, after a while of using it it kind of gets scratched up and it doesn't look as nice as it should. So to keep that nice look what I like to do is I just paint these pieces and any other accessories such as that. I usually like to leave the tips orange just for safety reasons and I like to leave usually the other orange pieces orange because it just looks nice when it's finished. So that's basically how what pieces you're going to be painting. Now the next part is you have to sand down your blasters. A lot of people don't do this and it doesn't look as nice because a lot of nerf blasters, pretty much all of them, have this finishing that makes them like that shiny. So what you want to do is you want to get that off so that way the paint can be applied a lot nicer. Now normally you would use sandpaper at my local store. I found these. They came in a nice pack and they're like sandpaper small sheets. Now what you would want to do is rub it back and forth pretty frequently. But instead of using these, I also found these nice things. They're called sanding blocks. Now they're a little bit harder to find, but they do an amazing job with getting off this stuff. So what you want to do is you want to take your blaster and you just want to hold it and go back and forth quickly in small spots at a time. Now as you can see, I'll hold it up here, but it got it gets off that shininess in this area that I just sanded right over the dart tag logo. Now that is really nice and that's what you're looking for. You want like a little bit of a rough look to it and these sponge is they're called uh, sanding blocks but they're they're kind of like sponges but with sandpaper. They're really nice for doing this. So what you want to do is go over all your pieces that you're going to be painting with this, and then you should be ready for the next step. The next step is to take hot water and wash off all of the sanding parts from where you just sanded off your blaster. So you want to wash that off really good, and you want to make sure you get everything off. So do that to everything that you sanded, and you should be Okay, now lay out your pieces like this. I usually like to do it on a box. Cover anything with tape, like these pegs that you don't want to get paint on, and then you're ready to paint. Make sure that when you're painting, you're using paint that says for plastic, because otherwise it doesn't work out as well. So make sure that you're using plastic paint. Okay, now we're ready for our first coat. Basically, you just want to do a bunch of small coats and layer it up. So let's get started. be like that. Okay, now after two coats of paint, it looked like this, and this is where I decided to keep it at. Now, at this point, this is where you would do all of your detailing. But I just want to keep it solid red for now because what I wanted to do was mod both the darn tag blasters so I could have a solid red one and a solid blue one. But this is what the red one looks like and I'm really happy with how this shell came out. As you can see it's a really nice color, shade of red and it looks and feels great. So let me just move it over into different lighting. But yeah, that's what it looks like. Okay, now with that, that ends with how to paint your blaster with the basically. Now I'll probably have another video later on about how to do detailing or how I did other guns such as this one. I used a different painting technique for that so I might make a different video about that later but for right now that's how you do your basic painting. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helps you a lot. Okay thanks for watching and please subscribe so that you don't miss the completed darn tag blaster when it's finished. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.